Yeah. So okay. So we have looked on the those uh, three uh, conditions. Uh, reverse cannot cycle, ideal refrigeration cycle, and then actual cycle. So today we are, and then we have calculated the coefficient of performance. So today we're going to look how to increase the coefficient of performance by adapting um, several uh, uh, several uh, uh, options for our reverse kind of, for, for our refrigeration cycle. This is the ammonia, which is commercially used for the industry uh, because it is a low cost and can the, the output at the higher uh, coefficient of performance. It uh, have a good uh, uh, heat exchanging uh, properties. Yeah? And then uh, sulfur dioxide, ethylene chloride, but uh, this is uh, toxic. And then uh, several low cost uh, refrigerant, which is uh, uh, this one is the chlorofluorocarbon base. It is low cost, used for the chiller R12. R22 for the commercialized uh, building and R502. Um, you also can download the refrigerant um, uh, properties here. Yeah? So which is uh, can you find cool pack? Can you Google it in the in the Google? Can you Google it? So the software named as a cool pack. So you can install into your, it is a free software, open market, <coughs> open source software that you can install into your, your laptop. And then you can look the properties for the refrigerants. Okay. So the consideration for the uh, refrigerant selection that uh, you have to see, you have to look on the temperature that required for the refrigerated spaces and the surrounding and then as well it shouldn't be toxic non-corrosive and chemically stable and non flammable and as well with the low cost uh, of rating. so there are several types of the refrigerant names uh, according to the uh, families like for example um, wet refrigerant which is if you're referring to the um, temperature entropy diagram, the characteristic is uh, like this, where it has a wide uh, conditions wide of the at the low uh, temperatures condition or low pressure conditions, the um, mixing region is bigger and then uh, becomes smaller at the high temperature region, and then we have the uh, dry uh, refrigerant which is uh, the dry refrigerant it has uh, like this okay so it's suitable to use for the uh, even though it is looks like the pressure and tuffy diagram it is suitable to use for the organic rankin cycle okay and then the the last one is the um, I said yeah, isentropic, isentropic uh, refrigerant where the condition for the uh, location for the um, saturated vapor is straight. Okay, so it is uh, almost uh, isentropic process that can happen when you have with the uh, uh, saturated uh, refrigerant. So this is referring to the temperature entropy diagram. Okay, so type of this you can uh, you can go for further uh, reading. Okay, the performance for the refrigeration uh, cascade refrigeration uh, cycle uh, is still on the uh, the COP is uh, the given by the um, uh, our desired output. divided by the required input okay so thus um, the 
desired output will be the heat um, collected from the uh, refrigerated spaces so this is a uh, bottom cycle and upper cycle which is connected by the heat exchanger so this is top this is bottom and this is going to be the refrigerated spaces yeah and this is going to be the surrounding okay so this is going to be the ql so ql which is heat absorbed from the refrigerated cycle sorry heat rate uh, from the refrigerated space and then for the first cycle there will be a work in for the low pressure cycle and then work in for the high pressure cycle ataupun uh, for the a and for the b okay so this is going to be the net work input for the uh, for the cycle so our coefficient performance will become like this so what will be the result um, our heat absorption at the ref, uh, for the refrigerated spaces will become larger as you can see that uh, the as this one this is a temperature entropy diagram okay as you can see that this is a large uh, uh, condition from this to here as compared from at the higher pressure condition so absorbing the heat at the lower pressure and lower temperature is much more is much better compared with the absorbing the heat at the uh, higher temperature so with these conditions the the amount of the ql will become larger because the operating condition if this is uh, limited to here if you can down to these conditions the operating condition for the lower pressure okay will become better okay so because the heat can be absorbed from this let's say from here and it can be extended to this uh, positions so it's more heat that can be absorbed by our uh, evaporator and then uh, yeah so with the similar uh, mass flow rate and then uh, as for this one for the compressor okay so the compressor uh, which is actually the compressor only have to compress to the lower compressor conditions so which mean that the compressor ratio will become smaller and thus this work net will reduce okay so the ql is increased uh, the heat absorption from the refrigerator will be increased and then the heat uh, sorry the, the power input required from the refrigerator uh, for, for, for the system will be smaller so this is our casket refrigeration system uh, looks like um, from the state one to state two which is the uh, compression in the uh, compressor and then uh, two to three which is the heat uh, rejected uh, from the lower cycle or bottom in cycle which is uh, this one the as you can see here if compared with this uh, seven or if we directly go from state one to state two in these conditions what will happen is that you will end up with the this location for the uh, uh, after the condenser operating conditions or heat rejection in the compressor and then it, we go to this location so and then from uh, 7 to uh, 4 so our amount of the enthalpy will be reduced so that the um, the heat that can be absorbed in the refrigeration uh, cycle will be reduced in terms of the capacity so if we can low down this uh, operating condition uh, for the pressure operating condition but unfortunately it cannot be happen if our environment uh, temperature is higher so it is uh, limited to this operating condition so thus it cannot be happen with that way so it has to be split into upper uh, cycle and bottoming cycle 
So for the bottoming cycle, the pressure can be reduced. So thus, we can extend the operating condition, uh, even can do the subcooling process as well. So that the um, this region will be become larger. So our QL we getting uh, increased, and as well the amount of uh, the power input that be required in the bottom cycle and uh, and the upper cycle will become uh, lower. Okay, sorry, this is uh, a. So it is connected with the heat exchanger, and then the, in the heat exchanger, one side is a condenser connecting between the uh, bottoming cycle to the uh, upper cycle, and then on the upper cycle side, it is connected by the evaporator, and then absorb the heat from the uh, heat exchanger here, and then compress to the in the low pressure compressor, and this is a. Uh, sorry, this is a high pressure compressor and this is a low pressure compressor. Okay, and then uh, the heat is rejected to the surrounding by the uh, condenser. On this uh, example, okay, so that we are going to consider a one point uh, two, uh, two stage cascade refrigeration system. We have to open the the uh, property table eh, for 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 this uh, problem. So which is uh, the upper cycle it is limited with the uh, pressure cycle uh, between 1.2 MPa and 0.1 MPa. Each stage operate on the ideal vapor compression refrigeration uh, cycle with R134A as the working fluid. So we just going to use as the ideal condition. There is no uh, losses in the compressor. There is no uh, loss, there is uh, no losses in the pressure of the pressure in the condenser and as well in the uh, evaporator. Heat rejection and uh, the, the refrigeration uh, uh, working fluid is R134A. Heat rejection from the lower cycle to the upper cycle takes place in an adiabatic counterflow heat exchanger. Okay, so there is an exchanger between the upper cycle and lower cycle. And the steam boils at 0 0.6 MPa. So compressor efficiency, oh so, sorry. So kita ada compressor efficiency ya, 80 dan 85% respectively. Uh, the exit temperature of the condenser for lower and upper cycle is 20 and 40, 20 and 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, yang this statement is incorrect. Tolong nanti tolong betulkan ya. We are not going to use an ideal um, vapor compression. Uh, compression. We're going to use the actual vapor compression refrigeration cycle. So, but ada yang bahagian sini. Exit temperature of the condenser 20, which is m40 degrees Celsius, which is a, this is a sub cooling process. So, nanti you tolong tengok dekat uh, dekat uh, map tu nanti dekat sorry dekat property table on this this matter. Yeah, 20, 40 degrees, and then what will be the, the value, and then the the, the flow rate for the uh, upper cycle is 0 0.05 kg second. So, use the previous equation to find the lower cycle and then get the coefficient of performance for the refrigeration and uh, heat pump cycle. Okay. Schematic diagram. First step. Okay, so our schematic diagram, macam mana nak buat? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. So, the numbering uh, depends on, on uh, bergantung kepada how, how you going to operate. But, the best is uh, to look on the consistency. Okay. So, we begin dengan uh, bottoming cycle. Okay. So, this is the evaporator. Keluar. Speed 1. And then go to the compressor. Okay. So we're in uh, B. Okay. And then uh, this is a state 2. And then it goes to condenser. And then goes to the expansion bar. And then come back. Okay. 
and then this is a connected with the uh, evaporator from the upper stage and then go to the uh, compressor okay so this is the the exchanger so step one then this is going to be uh this is going to be step two and this is going to be step three then this is going to be step one two three five and then this is going to be uh six seven and come back eight Okay, so this is uh, and then this is going to be the heat rejection Q out. Okay, so this is a condenser. This is an evaporator. Okay, so this is a first. Uh, this is a expansion valve one. This is expansion valve two. Okay, and then our temperature entropy diagram. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, TS curve. Then this is going to be 0 0.1 MPa compression, and then come back. Okay, then this is going to be uh, state one, state two isentropic to actual. three four and come back okay and then this is the upper cycle zero point sorry one point one point two one point two so this is one point two mpa and then after that start pulling a little bit come back okay So this is this is also sub cooling yeah. This is a 20 degrees Celsius. This is a sorry. This is a 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. So this is a state. What is this? This is a state five. Okay. This is a six isentropic. This is six, and then this is a state seven. Okay, the pressure 0 0.6 MPa. Okay, <coughs> so our pressure enthalpy diagram. Okay. Like this. Um, one. To isentropic to actual three come back four okay and then after that this one five six six s no seven and then down okay all right so schematic diagram temperature entropy diagram sorry the the, the drawing is not that nice because of the uh, you know the computer comp uh, this one yeah so but actually the pressure enthalpy diagram i will redraw in the, in the next stage but here the thing is that you have to take note uh, this is a 0 0.1 MPa, okay, 0 0.1 MPa, 0 0.1 MPa which is equal to 100 kPa. So you have to take note on the on the value for the Hg value, okay. H1 is equal to 234.44 and 
Nanti tolong uh, Sorry Ya Tolong ingat kat saya 234.44 Tolong baca nanti dalam uh, Bila kita pergi pada The next stage Saya takut lupa nanti And then SG is equal to 0.95183 Tolong tulis ya And then Which is exit at the saturated uh, vapor And then after that uh, For the first stage 0.6 0.6 is say that the temperature exit berapa? Tak ada, sorry, the, the compressor efficiency is something. So you have to find the um, the enthalpy at the exit of the compressor. So 0.5183 for this one for 0.6 0.5183 uh, di antara sini ya. Eh. So sini kena padam. Okay. So di antara sini 5183 antara 9499 and 0.9816. Nanti you tolong ingatkan this two value kat saya. Nanti repeat balik ya. And then this value as well for the enthalpy. So this is for the isentropic. And then for the 0.6 gain um Dekat at the upper cycle This value you kena ingat Hg 262.40 And 0.919277 Which is Compressed into the 1.2 uh, 92177 92177 Ya, yeah, dia berada di antara ini So that this will be the Tafi Okay Nanti tolong ingat the numbers tu Boleh? Ada slide ya Nanti tolong ingat the numbers tu Nanti saya tanya balik nanti ya And then after that Yeah Okay So The pressure and Tafi diagram I just re redraw balik yang Yang tadi tu Yang tak cantik tadi tu Okay This one, this is a 0.1 MPa. Yeah. So this is a state one. This is a 0.6. This is a 1.2. Okay. This is a state one to two. Asentropic. Two. Um, actual. And then come back. Standard little bit. Uh, this is a state 3. And then this is a state 4. And then come back. Okay. So this is a QL. And then the other one. Sini. State 5. 6 asentropic. 6 actual. Standard. Come back. Okay. So 7. Alright So At state 1 Tadi kan At state 1 Our Pressure Equal to 0.1 MPa And then Exit at saturated Vapor So H1 Equal to Hg At 0.1 MPa Equal to berapa tadi? Tolong Sorang Baca balik What is the value? Apa dia value dia? Tolong. Tolong tengok table tu balik. Kalau tak saya kena go back Back and come back Back and come back Susah sikit 272 pun ada 7 Dua? 72.17 Kilojoule per Kilogram ya S1 Baca S1 1.0918 Eh 1.0918 0.0 
0.91 something 0.9 dah sekejap jap hmm refrigerant R134A ya eh? tengok dekat property table tu Bila saya duduk dalam presentation ni, I cannot uh, return, I cannot uh, go back to the previous slide. Satu lagi saya takut nanti hilang saya punya presentation ni. Berapa? Yang lain? Mana property table tadi? Yang saya suruh you buka tadi Mesti tengok kat handphone ni semua Mana property table tadi? Berapa value? And then uh, S1 Ada dah? Something like that Okay And then from here You can do interpolation something. Ni saya suruh you tengok tadi the value tu. You kena interpolate kat situ. Ya. Yeah? And then 95 ke 95183 ke something like that. Tolong tolong. Macam mana saya nak nak ajar you ni? You pun tak tak help saya ni. Berapa? Tih lagu ni And then after that You will get the Compressor Ya yeah. Yang HS tu 234.44 Berapa yang mana? Apa yang S1 tu S1 0.9518 lah kan uh -huh. Jadi Nilai H dia tu 234.44 lah so. Bukan so, Bukan 272 272 Bukan Ok 2 berapa 234 eh 234.44 Ok Alright And then yang sini S, S1 Kosong poin yang 0.2344.44 tu untuk ni yang 0.5183 tu. 0.5183? Ah kan 0.5183 tu kan saya nak jadi nilai H kan. Ya, yeah, 0.9183. 9 95183. Ah nilai H itu 234. Okey, tak apa. 9.0.95183 kan? Okey. And then after yang bawah sini berapa? This one you have to look on the Dekat apa? 0.6 MPA Okay, dekat state 2 ha. H2S 95183 Dia berada di antara Something-something Yang saya tunjuk tadi dekat Dekat In the uh, property table tadi kan? Okay. Ha, dia antara ha. Yang tu 
Ya. Yeah. Yang kos poinnya tu untuk 0.95 kan? 0.95183. Berapa value yang atas dengan value yang bawah? 270.81. Bukan bukan dia. Ya. Okey, yang ni 270.81. Yang sini bawah dia. 280.58. Okey, minus 270.81. Sebelah sini. Um, 0.9499 Okey Sini um, Bawah dia 0.9816 9 0.9816 okay. 9499 Okey So then you you can calculate the uh, H2S yeah? So from H2S You can calculate the Compressor efficiency for the bottom cycle which is given by H2S minus H1 over H2 minus H1 ok, so H1 dah ada value dia kan 2, 3, 4 so then you can calculate the H2 ok alright, so H2 dah dapat and then at state 3 at state 3 the pressure is equal to 0.6 MPa. H3 is equal to HF at 20 degrees Celsius. Which is, you kena dapatkan lah berapa. You kena tengok yang table before. Dekat 20 degrees Celsius, berapa nilai untuk HF value. Okay. Then, at state 4. H3, this is an expansion valve. H3 equal to H4. Which is sama dengan atas lah. Which is equal to HF at 20 degree Celsius. Okay. So, the... Uh, yeah. Ada satu lagi tadi. You, uh, they ask for the... Uh, the value for the mass flow rate for the bottom cycle. Something like that. Yeah. So, you kena dapatkan yang bahagian atas dulu. Uh, apa cycle baru you boleh dapatkan the, 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 the you can solve problem. Okay. Uh, yang 20 degree Celsius tadi tu. You have to take this one. So, this is a H3 equal to HF at 20 degree Celsius which is equal to this one. 79.32 kilo jo per kilogram. Yeah. And then uh, State 4, H4 is equal to H3, which is P1 equal to 0 0.1 MPa. Uh, yeah, and then you can dapat, you, you can calculate 79.32, the X value lah. Boleh dapatkan berapa. Okay. And then, uh, we have to look on the uh, upper cycle. Okay, state 5, uh, saturated vapor, pressure 0 0.6 MPa. Okay, so H5 equal to Hg at 0 0.6 MPa equal to, ah, tak nampak tadi, 0 0.6 MPa tadi berapa? Cuba tengok property table. Tolong please Dekat 0 0.6 Ataupun 600 kPa What is the value for The value for the Hg Berapa nilai dia? Hmm, tengok dekat tapi macam mana saya? Uh, you tengok dekat 600 kPa Bukan yang sebelah temperature tu You tengok yang sebelah yang yang Slide yang saya bagi tadi tu Oh yang tadi tu? Uh, table A12 Ni kan table A11 kan? Tengok table A12. Oh, A12 lah. Haa. Dia buka table A12. Open the A12 table. Dua, satu, six, two point. Four, zero. Okay, kilojo, kilogram. Okay. And then, S5 equal to SG 
at 0.6 MPa berapa nilai dia tengok SG dia ni kat sana tu ha ni ni macam ni kan SG ni so what is the value for the SG 0.92177 kilo J kilogram Kelvin ok so you dah dapat kat situ and then after that you can calculate the yang kat atas dia at saturate ok at sorry at um 1.2 MPa 2S ya 0.1.2 MPa So the value for the S5 6 eh S6 S equal to S5 which is equal to 0.92177 Okay so from here you can buat interpolation lah H6S equal um, yeah you can interpolate eh H6S minus something over cuba tengok 92177 dekat 1.2 dia berada di di mana yang tadi tu yang saya bulatkan tadi tu kat atas tu yang saya suruh you take note masa our preparation tadi berapa dia punya tu tengok dekat table 1.2 at the superheated region dia duduk dalam superheated region kan 0.92 sorry 0.92 67 ah 92 67 dah oh, okey 677 minus berapa minus yang atas dia sini kan ah minus yang atas 0.9130 yang bawah yang bawah um, ni ini untuk yang nilai S kan ah yang entalpi eh, sorry yang entropi Ya, yang nilai bawah pada 0.9130 tu Berapa nilai dia? Ha, maksudnya kalau yang nilai bawah tu adalah temperature yang lagi tinggi lah Okay Berapa? Um, 0.9614 bukan? 9614? Oh jauh kan eh Betul lah? Dia table A13 kan? Bukan, dia bukan table A13 You kena tengok ah te, ya tengok table A13 superheated. Dia tu di atas tu superheated kan? Ha. Uh. Okey, nampak table superheated tu. Okey. Berapa nilai dia? 0.961 eh. Bawah uh, ha. bawah 0.9260. Ha, bawah 0.9260. Ha, bawah 0.9260. Ha, bawah 0.9260. Ah, okey. Okey. And then 0.9136. Nanti saya tengok balik lepas ni You baca dulu Okay H Nilai entalpi yang sebelah dia tu Yang sama lain dengan 0.9130 Berapa nilai H dia entalpi? Nilai H uh. um, 0.9130 Kilo Kelvin 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 Okay yang bawah dia Yang untuk sini 278.27 278.27 Okay, 273.87. Okay, you do this interpolation, then you can calculate the value for H6. Yeah, and again, compressor efficiency for upper cycle is given by H6 as isentropic minus H berapa H5 over H6 minus H5. Then you can find the H5. Which is the compressor efficiency sama 0.85. Yeah. You calculate this one. You boleh dapatkan nilai H6. Okay. And then after that. H6 dah dapat. Then H7. H7 equal to H. F. 
at berapa? HF dekat 40 degree Celsius. Which is you tengok baliklah yang table sebelum tadi tu, yang 40 degrees, table A11. Okay Look at table A11. At 7 P equal to 1.2 MPA Temperature equal to 40 degrees Celsius Okay, so you tengok temperature dekat 40 degrees Celsius T7 equal to 40 degrees Celsius Berapa nilai dia? Uh, 108.26 108.26 Okay So At A P equal to 0.6 MPA H8 equal to H7 Equal to 108.26 Kilojoule Kilogram okay. So um, To calculate the, the value For the MB At Heat exchanger Q H For bottom in cycle equal to Q dot um, L for upper cycle which is equal to over there uh, M dot B H apa tadi H2 minus H3 equal to M dot B oh sorry yang ni B ya eh? And then A Ya yeah. H2 yang bawah tu B ya eh? Alright So this is A uh, This one This is going to be QL Which is H5 minus H8 Okay So you rearrange Reorganize this one MB over MA Equal to H5 minus H8 over H2 minus H3. Okay. H2 minus H3. And then after that, you have to do the... Uh, apa tadi? Dia minta apa lagi? QL lah. Q, Q, yeah, QL. QLB is... Is equal to M dot B H1 minus H4 Okay Word net Equal to Word net sama dengan Word in A Plus work in B Which is equal to M dot H1 tadi berapa? H, um, H2 tolak dengan H1 Plus M dot B Tadi H6 tolak dengan H5 Okay So that is a work net in in total work in yang sebenarnya ya yeah. ok so the coefficient performance you boleh dapatkan lah daripada sini the coefficient performance oops dia habis lah ok coefficient performance you you boleh dapatkan daripada that one ya yeah. so uh, that's it kita pergi pada yang the last uh, the, the last uh, part which is tadi we have look on the casket cycle and this one we going to look for the multi stage in the multi stage so what happened is that um, instead of they have with the um, uh, heat exchanger they are putting with a flash chamber and the mixing chamber okay so they are not going to be a split Cycle, but uh, they are still using a similar uh, working fluid for both 
upper and bottom cycle but it is uh, going to be used with the flash chamber for extracting the uh, liquid vaporized so flash chamber we split the saturated vapor and saturated liquid okay and then mixing chamber this is going to be split yeah mixing chamber they're going to recombine remix the yang dia tarik for the bottom cycle and yang masuk balik dengan upper cycle okay so here so this is a flash chamber so this is a yeah after stage one to stage two okay we should begin here so what happened in the multi-stage uh, refrigeration cycle is that after exiting from the year daripada the top expansion bar okay so the expansion bar will be divided into two stage conditions so the first stage yang um, the expansion it will go enter into the uh, flash chamber okay dalam flash chamber ni uh, the saturated vapor will be extracted keluarkan daripada flash chamber and the saturated liquid will be saturated vapor and saturated liquid will be separated in the flash chamber so the saturated liquid will be expanded into the second stage of the expansion bath so that it will go into the low pressure conditions okay so with this condition it will increase again the amount of the heat can be absorbed from the refrigerated spaces okay and then in uh, the saturated liquid will be expanded in the second stage expansion valve here and then throttle to stage la prime to stage a and then absorb q dot l until it achieves to the saturated vapor and then yang ini so because of this one so, sorry tadi i missed this one this is going to be x value so this is a total mass flow rate m dot and then this is going to be one minus x value okay and then uh, this is one minus x keluar kat sini and then this is going to be yang saya ke bawah sini one minus x kalau nak kali dengan mass flow rate kita harap kelah m dot okay here masuk into the compression okay so your value for q dot l we equal to 1 minus x kali dengan m dot h apa tu h1 minus h8 and then here work for the low pressure compressor equal to 1 minus 8 times dengan m dot H2 tolak dengan H1. Okay. And then here for the this is a mixing chamber. Okay. So that is a mixing chamber. So in the mixing chamber in the mixing chamber saya tulis kat atas je lah eh. Okay. In the mixing chamber you ada macam tu yang masuk sebelah sini apa ni x kan and then yang masuk bawah sini so this is a saturated vapor yang dia masuk ikut 3 ok and this is masuk daripada stage 2 yang ni super heated ok value dia H H2 this is value H3 which is equal to Hg and then dia keluar Dekat state apa tu? State 9. Okay. So, from here, the mass flow, mass balance, m dot 1 minus x plus x equal to m dot lah. 
Balik sebenarnya Energy balance You have to calculate energy balance So that you can find the H9 Okay M dot 1 minus X H2 plus M dot X H3 equal to M dot H9. So, which is actually M dot, you boleh cancel lah. So, what will happen there is that 1 minus X H2 plus H... Sorry, this is not H2, sorry, H3, eh? H Oh, yeah, sorry, betul. H2 plus X H3 equal to H9. Okay? So, that you can calculate the H9. So, then after that, bila dah dapat H9, pressure ada, kan? Pressure kat sini tahu. So, H9, then you can find the S9. So, S9 kena dapatkan juga nilai S9. S9 equal to S4S equal to blah blah blah. Okay, and then from the S4S, you boleh dapatkan nilai H4. Okay, and then after that, that one. Okay, so your work for the high pressure compressor equal to M dot H4 minus H9. Okay, so the so next stage is to find the H4. So to get the H4, you have to find the S9 dulu and then S4S. Okay, S entropic here. And then finally the cut lima. Lima tu is a very simple, very basic, straightforward je lah. Yeah. Okay, so this is a consider sama juga problem from before. Cuma dalam kondensor 40 degree Celsius, flash chamber, dia throttle dekat 40 degree Celsius and then throttle anti 0.6 MPa. Uh, compressor efficiency is 80% and 85%. Yeah. Assume it leave dekat 0.05 kg per second untuk yang bahagian atas for the upper stage refrigeration system. Then you have to find the co-option performance, the friction, the fraction, uh, throttle and flash chamber, the rate of remove from the refrigerated spaces. Okay. Uh, saya rasa that one is the assignment eh? Yang tu tu Assignment berapa? Assignment 4 kan? Yeah That is uh, assignment 4 Okay so vapor absorption Another one is used for the Geothermal vapor absorption cycle Which is They are using the ammonia and the refrigerant So kita tengok 3-3 jenis lah For 3 types of the web Refrigeration Refrigeration cycle Multi-stage, cascade and then vapor absorption. So, vapor absorption nanti you, you can go tengok dalam saya punya channel tu lah. Yeah. Dia punya uh, coefficient performance. The coefficient performance for the vapor compression absorption. And then finally, this is the another references you boleh, you can refer to this YouTube channel to, to, to get another uh, perspective from the other lecturers yeah uh, uh, actually through this uh, open learning ODL it is more open uh, it not just you look or you just follow to my uh, lecture but also you can refer to lectures from associate professor Dr. Wan Najmi uh, Dr. Al Hassan and then uh, Dr. Baljit and others uh, lecturers so you can go to their YouTube channel, uh, look at their presentation for, for the class. And then uh, if they don't have the YouTube channel, maybe you can ask uh, the, your colleague that uh, enroll to, to, to the other professor's class. Yeah. So with that, uh, thank you very much. Uh, for